Every day I consume something that's trying to kill me and it's in this cup right here. Plain straight coffee. Let me explain. You see, caffeine was originally developed by the coffee plant as a way to fend off insects that were trying to eat it. You heard it right, this thing's a pesticide. Caffeine is the reason why when you consume coffee, you tend to feel all of the nice effects of being more alert, being more jovial and stuff like that. For us, caffeine releases adrenaline, binds with your adenosine receptors to stop you from falling asleep. But as they say, it's the dose that makes the poison. For insects, this same caffeine can be lethal. Hence, this thing's a pesticide. I first got into making coffee right about in my third year of college, that would be around 2015. And I went through the whole phase of, you know, first hating coffee, finding it absolutely bitter, and then slowly acclimatizing my palate to it. After which I started liking the taste and have slowly evolved to, you know, making what I consider to be the best cup of coffee around in all of the hipster ways, at least for my palate. Coffee also primes up the dopamine receptors of the body. So that's why I like having coffee when I'm programming, reading, or just generally doing something that's mentally stimulating. But there's another reason why I really love drinking coffee. I really love working at a place like this, like a coffee shop and I know it's super typical for somebody who works in computers in Bangalore to want to sit and work at a coffee shop but I just find it super aesthetic and the music's nice, there are no distractions once you have your headphones on and it's also really helped by... Do you have an espresso? Yes sir. Can I get one espresso? Sure. Take one Vienna roast. Thank you. But then you start to read about all of the bad effects of coffee. A lot of people get anxiety because of coffee and for me, if I have a lot of coffee all at once, I start to get quite jittery. Add to that the fact that I don't like being dependent on a chemical for doing whatever it is that I'm trying to do. On top of that, if I have caffeine at the wrong time, say about 8 to 9 hours before sleeping, then my sleep quality also degrades significantly, which the athlete in me really, really doesn't like. So what can I really do about it? Everybody trying to go here to party jumping off. Generally speaking, this is the reason why I just prefer to go on my bike in this city because you can just pick this up and and just be on your way across the road, not get stuck in traffic jams and as I said. Be on your way. Man, did I miss riding to places in Bangalore on the bike. I used to, I used to cycle basically everywhere whenever I needed. I needed to go somewhere to the office, maybe somewhere close to my house. And then after the pandemic, I just stopped cycling around. So I think this is the first time I've been out on my bike as a commute for going somewhere and it's a lot of fun just as much fun as I remember it to be my hands are not on the brake anymore so if someone just came down that road I would just I don't know what I would do but yeah my hands are not on the brake I've tried to quit coffee several times now because of one reason or another and every time I just keep coming back to this golden liquid of death. So the compromise that I've struck now is I'm at about 
a hundred ml in the morning and another hundred ml maybe in the late morning and that doesn't even total up to about 200 ml in a day which isn't even a glass so i'm quite happy at where i'm at right now it's a good enough compromise i do go to a cafe and have my second cup of coffee be a big tall glass of coffee and that is probably the most caffeinated i ever get which is today is one of those days and i also have coffee when i'm with friends and i need to stay past my sleep time which is about 8 pm so caffeine is what keeps me going at that point so that's my love for coffee i love it and i also hate it and worse i hate that i love it